Now the other one has it going, mine is Dr. Wetness. And I'm a professor of analysing stupidity and I've got some very stupid things to analyse today. Now as you may have already heard, uh, Google has fired one of its engineers, they had the names of James Demore. And uh, the reason why they've sat to me is so long mentally daft it's not even I can't even believe we have to fucking go through this, but it's basically what's happened is released a memo uh, just analysing why there's no women in the tech field, so you Google and Silicon Valley in general. And it's, it's basically sent a very, very truthful man you know, so he, and if everything he said in that is objectively true, you know, it wasn't hateful anyway. He's just basically mentioned that women take different choices in life because of biology and other factors such as that, so women value more security in the jobs and things like that. I know other people made videos in this subject, so I'll try not to um, do much repeated, too much parroting of what, they're, of, of what they've already said. But, yeah, like I said, he's made some very truthful statements, so there's, there's things like testosterone, hormones and things like that involved in um, how women make their life choices. They want different things in life than to men. And from, for that, he's been sacked. And not only has he been sacked, he's got a very angry species of humanoid, otherwise known as feminist, all after him in a massive fucking lynch law because they, he said something that they like they don't particularly agree with, no matter if it's truthful anyway in, or provable by science. You know, he's he said something he's disagree with, so he apparently deserves um, to be absolutely ostracised from society. And with this beautifully Orwellian move, Google has proven what many people have been speculating for quite some time now, that Google will not tolerate dissent and has absolutely no commitment to freedom of speech in any way, shape or form. And I believe, I think there's going to be a happy ending for this chap in a way, I think Julian Assange has offered him a job, so good luck to him in way in his future endeavours, but Google, honestly, take a, a, a long hard fucking look yourselves in the mirror, you know, you, you cannot force diversity. It's a free marketplace, so if women don't want to go into tech, you know, you, you, there's no need to force them to, you know, you don't need to lower the standards to actually get into their uh, professions just so to, just to get more women and minorities into higher positions, you know, you, you have to treat it like a meritocracy, you want the best people in those positions, otherwise your business is just going to completely collapse, you know, you, you've got to sort of put yourself in a, a position of a, a smaller business, you know, um, a kid, Somebody owns like a shop front or something like that. Uh, you can't force diversity on businesses because businesses are there to make money. So they want people who are going to be the best at making money to work for them. So if it's going to be a choice between some fat, lazy woman and some um, hard-working um, white lad, you know, of course they're going to pick the hard-working white lad. You know, it's, it's a given. You, know, you, you can't force diversity into into professions, you know, it's, it's, you got to sort of let it happen naturally, you know, you just got to encourage people to be the best at what, what to, they want to do. So I believe that is the best way to encourage diversity, you know, if you just let, just let people do what they want to do and everything will probably just work itself out, you know, if it, if it just happens that uh, more white men work for one particular company, um, that's absolutely fine. In my opinion, you know, it's, I don't think they're doing it in racial, due to racism, you know, it's just the way it's worked out. So if, if all those people happen to be the best at what they do, then fair play to them. So, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much my two cents on the issue, you know, you can't, it's a free marketplace for ideas. If people want to go in one particular field, they're more than welcome to. They don't happen to get in, you know, just, they've got to, they can't blame anything arbitrary like racism or sexism, they've got to think... What is it about me that wasn't admirable? What wasn't wasn't wanted? Was it my personality? Was it my lack of skill set? If it, if you figure out what's what was it that turned you turned them off from you? You know, you go out and improve yourself, and then you keep trying. That's that's where the life where life works. So yeah, that's pretty much my two cents and issue. Thanks very much for watching. Um, remember to like, favorite, subscribe, share whatever, whatever the fuck you do with videos nowadays. You'll notice I swore a little bit less in this video. And yeah, so if you want to share your video, possibly send it to the dark dimension so no mamu from Doctor Strange can watch it. And yeah, see ya.